All right. Uh, hello. Welcome to our Let's Play of Assassin's Creed Four. Uh, <clears throat> Black Flag. No, yeah. Black Sail. Flag. TV show. That's right. Um, my name is Lanya, and uh, we also have here Were Rogue. Hi. Uh, and Long Pig. I am here to knit and make your mom jokes. Excellent. Not and an I'm expert. mostly here to talk about pirates. Um, I have a PhD in pirates. That's why I'm here. I have a PhD in your mom. I have a career in video games, so that's that's why I'm here. And we thought Long Pig is also my sister, so uh, we <laughs> thought we would be a good crew to make an entertaining Let's Play. So that's also, kind of our uh, goal. It yeah. makes the your mom jokes even better. It does. It really does. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Are we starting? Oh, we're yes. presenting. Yeah, well, I think we, unless anyone has more introducing they would like to do with themselves. Oh no, about no. We've got some exciting pirate. Well, I guess I used to work for Ubisoft, so, uh, so that's probably relevant. Yes, but uh, not on this game particularly. Not particularly on this, I think I wrote something that is in this game, some tech that's in this game, but, um, but yeah, I also will be talking uh, as little as possible about, about Ubisoft to avoid any NDA problems. That is probably a good plan. Here we go. But it is relevant to part of this game, so... It's fair. I will probably have lots of really nerdy comments to make about things like, Wow, they sure have a lot of room on this boat. Do they have a lot of room on this boat? <laughs> they do. Jesus, you got a big boat! Jesus, you got a big boat! <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm just gonna. I mean, it's a fairly big boat. Stand but I mean, around and look at the boat. Sails are really high up. We well, yeah, they have to give you something to climb. Well, I mean that's fine, and there's lots of <laughs> there's lots of stuff to climb already. But I mean, just the in my experience, this the boom on that sail would be a lot closer to the deck. Right. <laughs> So what are all these little boats? They're uh, like those are all basically they're little sloops. I'm popping thinking. around, little okay. Pirate sloops. I guess the boom is high to it avoid like to the starting player. The Caribbean in smaller ships. Are these boats or ships? They're ships. They're okay. small ships. They're sloops. <laughs> and what's this big one? That one is an actual legit ship. Legit <laughs> ship. <laughs> like it, its kind of ship is also a ship. <laughs> FYI, the boat that we're on is a pirate, and the other ones are, like, British, I think? Are we actually pirates? Is that clear I at this point? I think we're privateers at this point. Yeah, right. privateers. Yeah, yeah. So we're I guess they could be pirates that are attacking. Or naughty men. Spanish, I have no idea. They don't have, have black really flags. Told. I see, like, a, a cross up yeah. there. I can't tell. I see, like, a red and white cross. Maybe I'm crazy. No, oh, well, if it's red and white, then that would be... We England, the right? Yep. Yeah. The mighty. Are you smart? I see what you're saying about the boom. I guess it's so ridiculously high to avoid knocking the starting player like right in the sea. Yeah, and also to give you some visuals. I mean, it's like when they're filming things about ships, they they tend to give you <gasps> a lot more space. <gasps> Who is this shadowy figure? Oh. <gasps> Who knows? Sploosh. Sploosh. Saving. Is it dangerous? Edward. Flashback. Privateering. He has no dangerous. nipples. Where are his nipples? Wouldn't pay so nice and he has the whitest teeth <laughs> ever. <laughs> They're blindingly white. They're fake. He's, Look he's, at them. He's from the Ken they family. Are. They're painted. Yeah, they're like they're That's painted over. They're just painted wood. Oh, very well. That would be that would get really disgusting in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I want food that don't make me he's sick. perfectly smooth. I, want I like food that don't make me like sick. Wind. Well, no, he's got pores. So I, I can see his pores, life. but he doesn't have any hair. No. At all. How long would you be gone with these privateers? Totally not pirates. A year oh, there he's got nipples. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. there they are. <laughs> Magical, reappearing, dear, disappearing nipples. Thanks to guy liner. Right. Totally gonna be gone for two you. years at most. Promise me. Uh huh. He also has blindingly white eyes. Blub blub. Blub. 
<laughs> blub blub. It's already one up on a lot of mariners of his <laughs> period on account of he knows how to swim. Yeah. Yay. Well, he is a main character. That's true. He gets all the skills. Blub blub. I know there was actually a, a bug filed at one point that um, fr from the external testers that the main character survives in the open water for far too long, given <laughs> temperatures at this time at the season in question, and <laughs> that that was a a will not fix. <laughs> will not fix. Yeah. <laughs> Eh. <laughs> no, we will not have your character die of exposure. Oh, come Aww, on. Yeah. So it depends on where you are or how much that would bother me. Like in the Caribbean, <laughs> I could buy it. If you're off the coast of Newfoundland, you'd be fucked. Yeah. Nice pants. <laughs> His clothing should look a lot more wet. <laughs> unless he's been passed out for longer than we've been led to believe. Right. And then a bird pooped on well, But him. he was passed out like Underwater, so it doesn't make yeah. a huge <laughs> difference to whether he shouldn't be wet. His armpit is wet. Good for you as well. It's at least shiny. <laughs> the <Sorry>. listening. <laughs> I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? Huh? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred escapes. <laughs> Yum. Oh. Aww. Aww. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? Will I or won't I what? Take him to Havana. You don't have that gold on you now, do you? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's kind of a dick. <clears throat> yeah, our yeah. guy or the other guy? Uh, both of them. Yes. A bit of both, yeah. The guy's like trying to offer you a job and then he's like... <laughs> Yeah, but then he pulls a gun on you and yeah, tells you yeah. to piss off, so... Exactly, so... I'm on to you, Sneaksby! Sneaksby? Sligsby? Sligsby? That's, yeah, that's what I heard. Is that seriously? <laughs> I heard Sneaksby. Either is weird. It is a little weird. Running around through... Captain tight pants. Pull out my sword. Put away my sword. It's not useful at this point. A lot of swords you've got there, buddy. Yeah. Hey, hey. Well, I suppose you wouldn't really swords. be qualified to pretend to be an assassin. It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that Learning way? to climb up small steps. It's very pretty. Who built this shit? Yeah. <laughs> Where even are we? Uh, Cape Bonavista? I don't know if that's a real place or not. I meant to look it up and I didn't. Ah. <clears throat> God! I can look it up now. If it exists, presumably it's somewhere in Cuba. I guess, yeah. It is, uh... It's very tall. For a sort of random island structure. Yeah, I am not super familiar with the topography of... There is a Bonavista at the far end of Cuba. Mm. It is... I mean, to be fair to, to oh, the... Oh, wait, no, that's not... Hmm? Well, I asked, um... I asked Google, Google Maps to show me Cape Bonavista in Cuba, and it showed me Cape Bonavista in Newfoundland. Ah, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Wah, wah. To be fair to the many, many writers... Hey! Oh, sorry. Many excellent writers of this series. Um... They do a lot of research. Hands off my lucky so. They do. <laughs> By which you mean your mic, your headphone cord. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, that was probably also worth mentioning in our introduction that that Long Pig and Weirog are in fact married. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you more relationship context on your exciting commenters. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I got the place name wrong. Eh. Or maybe Google's just not allowed to know anything about Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Commons is commentators. Okay, well, so we. Yes, yeah, so at this point I'm. playing around with what's on the mini map. Fair. Yep. Bone. Yeah. 
Wow. Yeah, I did find oh, yeah. there was sure a, a lot of um, standing in it. <laughs> random skeletons. Lots of random skeletons. Yeah. Are there not you know, just, random skeletons? You know, dropping dead everywhere. Oh, and now we're in a different. What's what's happening? Oh, it's, that was the the main map. Oh, mm -hmm. I found Bonavista Bay. I found it. Okay. It is about. It is probably about mm, 300 or so kilometers That's east a long of walk. Havana. It is a long walk. Well, yeah. they do say it is a long walk. <laughs> it's on the north coast, too, though, at least, so you can probably just go along the coast as much as possible. Climbing, climbing, looking bird. for sink points. Very slow bird. Look at our impressive view! Yeah! We had oh, least oh. link this feature with uh, one of our main map reveal mechanics to make you do it often and show off our awesome items. <laughs> That's fair. I think so. <laughs> Oops! Uh, <laughs> <that's fair. laughs> Keep your distance. Totally trying to jump onto that tree. Ow! Oh, he shot nice at you! He did! Doesn't seem to have slowed Jeez. you down. Could have killed me. I don't think Edward Kenway has uh, <laughs> has medical insurance. No. What? <laughs> what? He's just so manly. Apparently, and, uh, now I've decided that I have to kill this guy, or or the game has decided. Is there like? I don't think that was clear before. It says kill? Like, does that mean, like, yeah. press X to kill this guy? What? No, it's just okay. saying I have to go and kill that guy. Oh, this was a fun little... I'm not quite sure why his AI decided to put away his weapons, but it made the fight very, <laughs> it very, very easy. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've died! <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was a bit of a crap assassin. Well, I mean, also, we I'm not sure why he's being propped up on a rock now. It's clearly. Senor Duncan Walpole. <laughs> Make him feel more comfortable in his. <laughs> his death. <laughs> now I'm gonna make him way more comfortable by lying him down again off and all his dropping him in a bush. I will not know your face by sight. I believe I can recognize the costume. That's convenient. Now this, I don't quite understand. I mean, yeah, it's sure, you want to take it with you. It's also hard to be clean for a guy who just got murdered. There's Drowned like, and then murdered. Well, well, as no a sailor, they or were holes. very good at, you know, sewing up holes in their clothing. So there you go. There's water right there. You could wash the blood stains out before they set. It's all good. Yep. But what I don't get it's all is good. why, no in the fucking either. Caribbean... Like, why would you put that on? Like, yes, he's gonna wear that big ass leather coat. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is because he's gonna pretend to be that other dude, but he's like miles and miles away from Havana. So why does he have to do it now? Well, why is the other guy wearing it? I mean, I get assassins. <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. He just wants to look badass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That school will do me just fine. Oh, schooner. Your mom will do me just fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, don't jump into the rocks. Okay, yes, good. <laughs> Could there the possibly be something behind Very. this waterfall? Such a thing has never happened. Oops. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, gotta check out uh, more totally skeletons. Is. Yep. Find a way to Havana. I mean, you know, surely every remote, unpopulated, possibly undiscovered island has skeletons in it. Well, we've determined that they're on Cuba, so. Yes. 
at this point. I mean, it is possible that this was like a place where there was some buccaneers earlier. Like the old school, we're here to hunt cows and sell their skins to, or meat and skins to passing ships style buccaneers. Right. We're here to hunt cows. I mean, is, is piracy <laughs> yeah. at this point already established as sort of a, are we already in the golden age or now, I is have that to about say, to happen? Really, really Having done to cow. some field work. Hello. That yeah. Take more sugar! <laughs> it's really thick. Oh, I'll take your sugar. And not very <laughs> giving. Yeah. Or comfortable. Or tall. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's so good for hiding. Also, these guys are blind. <laughs> so, yeah, Lanny, is this. Um, Do -do. Time, time wise, wasps. like, is piracy already a big sort of popular career at this point, or, uh... <laughs> anyway, she's cut out again. Hello? Oh, no, you guys cut out for me, but I'm here. Okay. Okay. Most of that was fine. Did you hear my question? No, I didn't. I was asking if, uh, timeline-wise, piracy is already sort of an established career choice, or, uh, has the Golden Age not yet begun? What is the time period for this, for this section? I'm not sure. I, I don't think I'm I caught it. also not sure. Um... Because <laughs> that makes it a little hard to answer. Yeah. Um, but I think if we're looking at the... Um, if we're actually looking at the like the beginning of the 18th century, then we're sort of just about to fall in... that. Then yes, piracy was, was big at that period. And then we have um, the, the War of Spanish Succession, which starts in 1704. Um, and in general, during these big international European wars that sort of span throughout the colonies that exist at the time. Uh, there, there's usually enough other stuff going on that people can, you know, they can be privateers or whatever. They can make their money in other ways. They don't really need to Take my sugar. Take my sugar. be pirates. <laughs> yeah. I'm just picturing, okay. like, this dude coming to, like, Little Haytham's career day at, like... <laughs> His elementary school. He's <laughs> <laughs> my daddy. He's a pirate. Oh, hey, you. Anything you like. But yeah, after the wars, then there's there tends to be a oh, surgence Christ, of pirates me. because you have all these people who were sailors or whatever who are now out of work. Hey, it's that guy. It is my vessel. <laughs> Here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? Yes! No! <laughs> What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. <clears throat> well, Mr. Bonnet. Oh, Steed Let Bonnet, this stage eh? Us. But I'm on a Wait. secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him. And I must get to Havana with Steed. Oh, that is a so... Relief. Havana is also my destination. Yarp. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Spoiler so alert. I think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Steed Bonnet uh -huh. does himself later become a pirate. Uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. I actually knew that. Yeah, he's from da -da -da -da. Barbados. He's a Barbadian planter. So maybe okay. maybe they're trying to imply that he hangs out with uh, Mr. Kenny here and thinks it's so cool that he decides to become a pirate himself. I don't yeah. Know. I don't know where they're going with that. Yeah, I can see that. I, he's a, he's terrible sure they at being a pirate. gave a date at the beginning, but I'm feeling to find he's one really bad at so it. Maybe we'll, uh, he doesn't really get the later. whole idea that you're supposed to, you know, steal a ship. He buys this his first pirate ship. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't strike me as... No, not particularly competent. <laughs> That's not the iron price. <laughs> no, it is not. When he meets up with real pirates, they're like, "We're gonna, we're gonna put somebody else in charge of your ship." Oh. <laughs> <Aww>. Yeah. <laughs> It's funny because I've I've read the the trial transcripts for when he um, eventually gets captured. Okay. And they're basically like, 
You're an educated gentleman. You should really know better. <laughs> Tut tut, slap thinking? on the wrist. <clears throat> You're a gentleman. Why would you even? <laughs> you ship. <laughs> Yay. Look. <coughs> a unicorn. A unicorn. Check it out the Magic spirit. Again, the scale here is kind of... I think this audio might merge really weirdly, because uh, we keep losing you, and I think you keep losing us as well. A little bit. Well, that's okay. We'll, we'll make it up somehow. You can just uh, edit in my... Yeah! About it'll ships it'll, and it'll so forth. work out. Press W to start sailing. It's a natural sailing key. I mean, try Skype next time, too. It might be a little bit more stable. There's a strong wind now. <laughs> cutting out again. Your yeah. mom has a strong wind. My Your mom's cutting, cutting out again. She did cut out. My mom is dead. You can't get away with that forever. <laughs> <laughs> they are the raw stink really of fast. your mom. <laughs> For navigating this area. That is a top way of seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We also, have... there are really not nearly enough lines on this ship to control the ship. There should be, like, so many more lines. And I realize that, like, in terms of visuals, and it would just be cluttered, but I just wanted to note that. <laughs> uh, when I started playing Assassin's Creed 3, where they put in the, um, Gone. the sailing for the first time, it was... Uh, I, I took everything much more slowly, um, because I used to actually sail ships. Balls. Yeah. Because I used to actually sail ships, and so I think we're uh, just really out of sync. Like there must be a big delay. Yeah. In the audio, maybe. I mean, presumably we're um, the same stage in the video. And and but then I started to get used to it, and now I do it. Yeah. Ridiculously quickly. That's fair. I just think it's funny that you can go that fast. Yeah. Shorten sails, by which we mean wander around the deck aimlessly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not in a hurry, whatever. <laughs> We're just gonna poke at this thing a little oh! bit. Oh, look away. Yeah. I'm gonna go take a nap. That guy just went to go sit down and take a nap. He's really not very good at shortening the sails. He's also not very impressed by whales. <laughs> no, nobody's impressed by whales. <laughs> Fucking whales. Who, who even cares? <laughs> I like how quickly the boats turn as well. The, sorry, the ships. This guy has such a shit-eating grin. <laughs> he does. He's like white 18th century Clay Davis. Are you talk who are you talking about here? Steve Bonnet. Steed, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or he's he like reminds, a... He looks like the actor who played Wormtail in Harry Potter to me. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I totally see that. <laughs> see, and then the sails are magically short. Very <laughs> promising. And now it's time to go to your real job. Ubisoft. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes. Totally not Ubisoft. <laughs> Making video games. Welcome back. But... Well, your numbers look good. Well, sure we I worked hard on those numbers. I need you to move your head and look at these lights just here. Convenient cutscenes. So we don't have to sail all the way to Havana. Yeah. <clears throat> That's it. This is so reminiscent yeah. of, of original Halo, except that we've already established so the camera so direction at this point. Let's get you up. <laughs> so, welcome to the Sample Seventeen <laughs> Project. Before you get started, you would think that but you would already know that when you were working on it if you were just in the middle of an immersive yeah. game experience. It <laughs> But yeah. hey. Yeah, well, clearly what happened is you walked into the building, right. were thrown in this chamber, hooked up to a thing, and you didn't meet the herd until just now. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's how yeah, job clearly. interviews go? Or in yep. you inductions? Yep, you don't know what you're doing. You're just working there now. Although to be honest, you know, I, I I have absolutely worked at places where I met HR people and had 
introductions and things first, and then meta producer. This building is barely mm -hmm. six months Maybe it's supposed yeah. to be that kind of analog. But presumably you would know a little bit about the company that you're working for if you were actually just at work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that's the part that gets me. Like, they're just doing all this testing. And yeah. now they're taking you to your office where you're going to be doing your job. Yes, at your what? station that you were just in, or... <laughs> Yay, liberation. I mean, maybe they needed to get some biometrics off of you so that it could but only the be properly and we think we found calibrated. The Thingy! Yeah. Spoiler, Caribbean that comes pirate. up here like two so minutes. It could be techno babbles. It'll just take yes. a minute, okay? Okay. <coughs> they even well, look you, like Nancy. Montreal people. Bonjour. Well, and she a... talks like an <laughs> Anglo trying to speak French. Magnifique. Merci. We have a lot of source source data for that here. <laughs> yeah. Well, the only way she could be more Montreal is if she had the Montreal red hair. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, though. There's that yeah. that shade of red that you see somebody with that red hair. You hear them talk a little French, and you're like, "Oh, you're from Montreal." <laughs> I think this part is some wishful thinking. They're like, "Yeah, yes. you could just like what? work at this place. They'd give you a tablet. It would do everything." You leave yeah. it at your desk, you screw it, but you know, whatever. And we'd have this awesome water feature and this badass <laughs> elevator. Man, it'd be so cool. It would be such a pain in the ass to make it. It kind of looks like their office is in the biodome. <laughs> it does. <laughs> See that flashing wireless signal? It means you're hooked See up to the, the elevator. See the I'll let you do the honors. <laughs> We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. What happens if two people come and press, try to press different floors at the same time? Don't cross the streets. <laughs> well, presumably it would operate like any other normal elevator. Yeah, I guess you could go to both floors. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Whichever one comes first, you go there first. Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, Mélanie. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. Have you met our new that guy today? is like Bonjour. I've seen a thousand of him. He could totally yep. work in New Zealand. <laughs> Edward, the pirate. I can kiss <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah. If I were this dude, I would totally be like, I just want to punch you in the face right now. <laughs> <laughs> just let me get this one settled, and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Where's my face so, kiss? This is the sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor. This is a very, That's very interesting mind. conversation. We're all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully it is. Day, like, wait, are you extracting some fantastic experiences genetic from memories from his DNA? Where I, is he? Isn't he dead? I met the three guys, the, the two guys and the girl having a conversation in the hallway. Oh, that's fair. Calibrating, right. See? So here we are. Your very own Animus workstation. Yeah, we weren't there before for some reason. Sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And QR codes. Check in on you later. <laughs> yeah. <Pirating. laughs> and more QR codes. There are more opportunities to notice there, there are QR codes. And action figures. Yay, we they're, they're important. Dolly. I was trying. I was trying to decide when I was watching through this if they were just uh, action figures or if they were something else. They're what, like achievement thingies? I think they're things you can un unlock, but ah. um, I mean, it's not. Oh, oh, oh. It's not just a stereotype that video game programmers and, and video game creators' desks are littered with toys. So. Where's the free hugs poster? That's not here. <laughs> I oh, it's the water guy. Don't get a drink. Can't get a drink. He's thinking. A drink. That's all. You know, some people yeah. just need to move around when they're thinking. <laughs> yeah. Here's... That's us. Yep. Where's Hatham, a.k.a. the cool one? He's not born yet. Oh, but is it, why isn't there a big old poster of Hatham? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. I guess he's born that by now. <laughs> hey, there's a water well, guy. Well, I saw a picture say. of what's her face, Aveline. Yes, Aveline. Yes. Yeah. Hey, guy. 
Where are you going, guy? <laughs> <laughs> just thinking, facing, stalking this wandering. guy. <laughs> ah, the thrill, the excitement. <laughs> this is Assassin's Creed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is what this game is all about. Feedback chair. <laughs> stalking your coworkers. See, this is a really interesting conversation. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, this guy's he's Long busy now. Bones. Yeah. See, I was entertained. Um, entertained <laughs> when I was watching through this part earlier <laughs> to, be, to notice, like, oh, hey, look, it's like a real video game studio where there's no actual or very few actual girl developers. <laughs> Aww. Uh, <yep. laughs> wah, wah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's probably about Is right. Is that Colonel but, uh... Sanders? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure out who that guy was. But oh no, I think he's the guy from AC3 that that trains you. What I forget his name, the old black oh, guy. Yeah? Which one? Not on this desk. The one, the desk oh, we, okay. just at, we just left. There's some overlap between these. Yeah, between the action <clears throat> figures. It's a fascinating conversation, clearly. Yeah. Oh, water cooler again. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Working hard. This is this is how we actually make video games. Uh huh. There's a lot of drinking and walking and cell phone checking. Yeah. Is is there is there a point at which he has to go to the bathroom for like twenty minutes? <laughs> drinking all that water. You I don't, I don't wanna, actually see any bathrooms in here. You don't want to go to these bathrooms. The they probably clo there, yeah. close them off. That's fair. You you need the right wireless code to go to the bathroom. Yep. <laughs> well, apparently. French, French? I really wonder French, if, French, French, French. Yeah, if you listen carefully enough, if you can figure out what they were saying. The but. intonation sounds French, but the guy has, like, such a thick accent that it could just be the way he's talking. She's speaking English. Yeah. She's speaking English, for sure. Because she says, you are not something, something, something. I, I think, said so, yeah. I think he's speaking English, but with a big accent. Anyway... Yep. For everyone to something, something, something. Everyone yeah, something, da, da, something. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I can pick out like a word here and there, but I have no <laughs> Don't idea. Don't mind me, just standing outside your window. <laughs> totally not even dropping on the boss. <laughs> Listening. <laughs> not entirely sure what the job is. It's a little cafe. I don't know about you guys, but this is what I do whenever I start a new job. This cafe the end. <laughs> a QR code. A QR code. Yep. A QR code. Link. I like all the like electrical cables just sort of lying around at the edge of the room. Ooh, that's, a uh, decent place. that's authentic. Yeah, I, I can't understand what this is trying to say. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. No, I think it's intentional. I think it's some kind of weird cryptic like it, the um, machines of understanding that maybe sense we, un un oh, we unleashed. Okay, such grand qualities quite without understanding that around voters and purposes to their own as inert as they were. Yeah, it just like there's some some grammar thing there that's confusing me. Like, what is this yeah. supposed to mean? Ah, oh, who broke this game? It's so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so there's one of these uh, QR codes that I actually like tried to take a photograph of with didn't a work. camera, but it didn't it didn't work out. I wondered about that. They're still very interested. Hey, it's my desk! Yay! Well, at this point coming up, where I'm just standing staring at this. Yeah, we <laughs> tried to take a picture of it. It did yeah. not work. Well, what you might be able to do is take a screen cap. Possibly. And then I have a phone that it was rejected by an eight-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, he's a pretty tech-savvy eight-year-old, so let's, <laughs> let's be fair here. Oh, yeah. we've left the code. Yeah, I mean, I missed that code. <laughs> oh, it's going to be nostalgic. 20 years from now, I'd be like, oh, remember playing... Assassin's Creed. That QR what? code was so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when video games were all QR codes and fields. Hey, there's snacks in there. Why is it level two? Yeah. 
<laughs> you don't think they let the newbies in for snacks, do you? No. You have to earn your snacks. I saw a guy, I can't remember where he was, he's around here somewhere. He just looked like he was staring at the world's most depressing vending machine. He just looked <laughs> so despondent. <coughs> Watch this face! I'm watching! <laughs> we are. We're watching this face. We're working together at Naughty <sighs> Working together, making a game. It's so exciting. Pirates, pirates. <laughs> <laughs> wow, copy paper. Look at Oculus. Channel Which 4 logo. Boundaries. I'm, I'm entertained at how much time you spent wandering around the office. <laughs> I, think I, was, I think like, I was still waiting post- to get our phone to take a photograph of the QR code. Wait, there's no QR code here. No, I was still. I think I was wandering around to fill time. Uh, 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 why? Why did you leave it? In? <laughs> <laughs> oh, ooh, a photocopier! Wow. <laughs> If only you could photocopy your butt. If <laughs> <laughs> only I could photocopy that QR code. <laughs> it would be well, more I took usable. A screenshot. I'll send it to you later. Okay. Still very interesting over there, yes. Okay. Let's... Here's. Oh, no. Wrong desk. Ah! Hey, that guy has pizza. <laughs> Clearly level two. There's our desk. Yeah, so here we go. Saturday. Here's where you're back. QR code. Here's where I'm trying to scan the barcode and it's not working. Do, 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 do. And then I just eat it at some point. <sighs> Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Arr! <laughs> Authentic high seas adventure. No kidding. Feel the thrill of the early 18th century QR codes. <laughs> it's just QR one long plug for watchdogs. <laughs> you scan it, it's all with watchdogs. <laughs> Let the QR code into your mind. <laughs> I'm never going to forget this QR code. So, did you see My Little Pony this week? <laughs> Oh, oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's deep. As from a stinking petri dish, we submit. Those who came before! Yeah, yeah, they're a plot point. <laughs> I figured that, but they're still a little bit nonsensical. Just in their composition. Well, they're from the previous... Yeah, well, they are, but that's... There's no naked people sort of running con- in front conspiracy of greenhouses in this one storyline thing where assassins are descended from godly beings or something. I mean, that's the that's the stuff that really got me playing more than one of these games, which is... So, you know, I, I can't no. say I don't enjoy it. I just thought Ezio yeah, was... That's fair. Those are both legitimate reasons. Hey, it's that guy! Vidic? Yep. Vidic. Oh, fitting in. <laughs> yeah. I think that's we why I went back. I was like, oh, knowing fitting where in. you belong. Yeah. We are here to put you in your place. Back to the food. Diversity. Too bad. Oh. Wait, I wanted to see the diversity plan. I wanted to uh, see the food part. I wanted to see the non disclosure agreement. <laughs> <laughs> or if they How have like a no really compete co- Or if they have like a no compete clause or something. That's uh that's pretty standard. Welcome to Animus Omega. Oh, yeah. I was getting really into that office sequence. <laughs> oh, right, there's pirates in this game. Please contact your project supervisor. Spinning simulator. Wait, what was her what was her name? Melanie LeMay. Interesting. Yeah, I know. Swansea. Wales. Calibrations complete. Swansea. Optimal. All systems optimal. 
Tidy. Tidy. We'll be with you now. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's just a Welsh thing. Okay. It's a Welsh thing, you would understand. I'm waiting for, for the pirates from Everestwith. Is that that's a thing, right? Uh, uh there were lots of pirates from Wales. Yeah, there's no boat from Aber. Well, it was from Swansea, so. It's a flappy flag. <laughs> what was it about the Welsh that made such great pirates? I've been here once before. Uh they were poor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Works they for were me. heavily involved in the Atlantic trade and fisheries already. I shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again. <laughs> Irony! Must be cautious. Yeah. I missed where we are. Havana. Havana. Yeah. What are you doing trading with the Spanish? <sighs> there are laws and you are breaking them. Oh my. Scandal. <laughs> To think Spain and England were at war two years ago, isn't it? Oh, so I guess Here we I are in 1716. Like like yeah. Mm. Nothing wrong, Duncan. No, it's nothing. Sand in my hampers. Sand in my what? Hampers. Um, I'm just headed to uh, a public house now to meet some merchants. I could something totally mm -hmm. legitimate. Yes. <laughs> I love to tarry. Terry Terry's my middle name. <laughs> and we're Terry Kenway. Wonder how many stolen reals bought these men this perch. Not that I know anything about stolen reals. Of course! Hola, ladies. Don't know these women, do you? Boobies! They charge money for that kind of privilege. A few dozen reals for every hour of knowing. Keen to meet them. Oh, goodness, no, I'm a married man. A married man of that. Kitty cat! <laughs> Kitty cat. Actually, I went up to the cat expecting to be able to pet it because of the previous game. Aww. Yeah. Maybe just Spanish cats are too aloof. Yeah. It's actually tagged in the game, Jager, as Jerk Cat. <laughs> I do like your setting. I like the casual roads and all the whores. Well, I was. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Guy's glowing. Is he, wait, is he a Cylon? Yes. <laughs> New objective, buy a pair of swords. I thought you already had a pair of swords. Yeah, you well, were crap. He was just bitching about how his swords were rubbish, so... That's fair. Pirate with only one sword is no real pirate. A, no, pirate may... Can, that will, I will give you. The, the quality and number of pistols is a thing, but really, yeah. swords... It doesn't really do you much good to have more than one. He's trying to sell swords, yo. <laughs> That's fair. That's true. He is trying to sell it's swords. It's his business but... plan. But at the same time, they really don't seem happy about pirates in this town. So, you know, probably he shouldn't be trying to sell them to you as a pirate. Hi there, dog. There's an actual dog here. A real dog. Aww. Hi, doggos. Does she have code and animations so you can pet her? Yes. <laughs> what? Oh, now, Ooh, outfits. now that I bought something from him, he'll let me buy more things. Uh, hello, dog. <laughs> That's how business works. Just let me climb some shit. It's what yeah. I do. Yeah, it's a normal person thing to do. Find a place to climb. Climb in the tower. The, door, the portico up to the roof. Nice tiles. Very <laughs> accurate. <laughs> Every finger's a fish hook. That sounds 
uncomfortable. Uh, yeah. Dirty. <laughs> that sounds dirty. Dangerous. <laughs> yeah, dangerous, definitely. <laughs> Especially to the horse. Yeah. <laughs> I would not trust that little promontory. Not. <laughs> Does this game well, have horse assassin? I I'm not sure. I expect so. But um, these weird little wooden bits on the side of buildings have been in every single Assassin's Creed game. And I think they're just still in them because players recognize them as a place to synchronize. I'm close at heel, shitbird! Shitbird! <laughs> <laughs> Not enough games use shitbird. No. <laughs> it's especially funny in a British accent. Shitbird. <laughs> <laughs> so you killed that assassin in like two seconds, but yeah. the pickpocket actually well gave you a fight. Yeah. What is going on with this? <laughs> Just gonna tuck him in there. Yeah. <laughs> He's less noticeable. Oh, we'll though. ever notice. <laughs> How dare that guy steal someone's purse? I'm just gonna I'm not... murder him and leave his corpse in a corner here. <laughs> I'm not returning it either. <laughs> nope. <laughs> just keep... I'm actually just taking whatever I right. stole. He got away and he was really fast. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I guess you gotta kill the pickpockets because you gotta trust that they know what's worth stealing. Yeah. Just hope you don't get a rubbish pickpocket. I stole a uh, sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want you on their roof. No, they don't. But they seem unsure as to what to do about it. <laughs> oh, I want that thing. What is it? It's glowy. Glowy thing. It's Tinkerbell. Come here, glowy. Glowy, glowy, glowy. Oh, it's a shanty! <laughs> That's, yes, you find those <laughs> flying around on top of houses. Excellent. <laughs> they totally wrote those down. Glowing yeah. sea shanty. <laughs> Come on, boys, I've gone and bought a new shanty. Let's practice so that we can sing it together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's for the death bond. We, we can all read it off this piece of paper. <laughs> we can no, all read it. Read, right? How's your sight reading, guys? <laughs> How's your reading? Reading? Reading, anyone? <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> Rum for all! Ah, we've arrived at this building I was standing outside. <laughs> Take your time, I'll be just here. Fancy meet no Welshman deep in Dago country. In English, myself. I love how, how you can automatically tell he's Welsh, even though you yes. can't see anything other than his outfit. Yeah, I mean, and he hasn't you know, said a thing. English people can smell Welsh. He has the stink of leeks about him. <laughs> Poor sheep. Poor sheep. <laughs> oh, maybe he just knew him already. Yeah. My beautiful face! <laughs> Ole! He's a... <laughs> Yay, He's a charismatic right. and, and well-loved man. <laughs> I've seen bigger arms on a pill. I've seen bigger arms on your mom! I've seen bigger something on your mom. <laughs> Your mom totally has nicer tits than both the guys that Edward's beating up right now. They keep coming! Dog wants to see Edward Kenway fight Dog all of the bar patrons. Burrow under your desk. Here. Yeah. There she goes. <laughs> So kind of them to mostly attack you only one at a time. I know, they're yeah. so considerate. Finish him. 
We do's! We do's! You're not leaving me! I'll cut you off! Smoke. Smoke bomb. bomb? Yeah. Where did I, you get that exactly? I was I carried it here, yeah. I had okay, it maybe before. it was in this guy's pocket that you murdered. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what you got from the pickpocket. I will use my time to repeatedly climb and fail to climb this wall. Hide inside things to become invisible. For a certain definition of invisible. I just realized I hadn't had my computer plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Hide inside the haystacks on top of the roof. Yes. That sounds like a great plan. Just jump down the chimney, dude. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Santa does it all the time. <laughs> <coughs> Mission I'm complete. Good. No hiding in haystacks required. Yeah. Memory one, lively Havana. Yay. Details. Um, some details. There we go. Mm -hmm. I was already viewing those details. Rate this memory. To rate this memory is kind of a, a really creepy concept. Like, yeah, I, I'm assuming that's part of the like the meta video game thing going on. Yeah, well, I. I I guess they'll feed back somewhere and, you know, maybe the developers will actually think about the popularity of certain level designs or something. But if you just think of it in concept context of like, oh, I have remembered something. Gee, that was a swell memory. I will upload my rating of it to the cloud. <laughs> it's uh. Who did you just kill? I, I, just, I just robbed a pickpocket again. Okay. I like the pigeons, that's a nice touch. <laughs> Free pigeon call. Hmm. What are you supposed to be doing now? Um, I'm supposed to be going to, see, to meet up with Steve Bonnet, but instead I'm going to go and um, try to I find work as a paid killer. Oh. As you do. Perhaps sit on some very tall buildings and notice what exists in the area. Get off my roof! <laughs> Much obliged. So, in 18th century Havana, did they pay a lot of dudes to patrol the roof of buildings? Uh, I couldn't tell you. I don't Master know down. as much yeah. as I would like to about the Spanish in this period and what they were doing there. Uh, Are you stealing what? someone's chicken? <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, apparently if you want to get work as a hired killer, you go and find some pigeons. They will hire you. <laughs> Pigeons have a lot of access to grind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. What? Good, we're gonna go and find out who pissed off the pigeons and <laughs> take care Doom of them. In. Yeah. They broke my eggs. Those fuckers. They gotta pay. <laughs> This is that guy or... didn't give me breadcrumbs. Angry birds. <laughs> <laughs> the randomly spaced windows in that tower. <clears throat> yeah. So I promised I played Assassin's Creed before, and uh, <laughs> should totally be able to. Kaka, things kaka! Like Sorry. This is my house. Who's house? In my house. Oh, are you God? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting on his house, so yes. 
Well, alright then. <laughs> you do have the power of life and death in your hands. Apparently the power to not die from, like, <laughs> falling hundreds of feet. Yes. Fell in That's a haystack. You. Yeah, haystack, <laughs> right, of course. Yeah. Magical people they don't like you. shielding me from view. No, when you when you walk slowly in a bunch of people, you're invisible. Yep. Oh. Instead of just like in real life when you're annoyed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, you mind if I walk with you and pretend that I'm one of your friends? It's walk left, stand right, assholes. <laughs> Eagle vision. Oh yeah, that's an assassin thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> It's hereditary, I guess. But there, that guy that I can see through walls, the that's the one I need to kill. Line well, I guess he could be in the lineage just randomly. No, he is in the lineage. Um, because... Do you see the power to make, to like, create entourage? He's like Connor yes. Kenmore's grandfather. Oh, okay, I see. Oh. So they just the went back further. Yeah. yeah. And it's cool. So it's like, like the Henry's Mormons. Dad. Yes. And, and by create entourage, <laughs> what actually happened was hire hookers. Oh, all right then. So my uh, my optional objective was to stay out of com combat, but apparently that only means before I kill the guy. Or you fail at your optional objective? I don't know. No, no, it said I succeeded. I guess it just means don't pick any fights until you murder yeah. the dude you're supposed to murderate. Right. Stay on task. Ow. One murder hit by an axe. Ow, One there's a lot of time. guys on the minimap. Um, you, are you gonna uh, die? No, I'm gonna do the other thing. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Look at the ball chasing me. I do like me. the uh, fact that oh. you can see the... Uh, them shooting at you. Yes. A lot. And those like little lines are where you're because your video feed is breaking up because you're dying. <clears throat> is that yep. right? Okay. Ah. In the first game they had this really neat sort of meta narrative where you when you took damage, it was like, nah, this guy was too good. You wouldn't have taken <laughs> damage. Therefore whenever you take damage, you're deviating from the memory and you're gonna become desynchronized. But that metaphor is not as oops. Bye bye. <laughs> it's not as well uh, casual murder. Best murder. <laughs> he just wants to be the king of all the castles. <laughs> this is my Hello, fucking wall. roof. Get off. Is this the courthouse? I'm just working on my parkour, church, maybe? like well, demo fair. reel. Oh, it's another church. Yeah. So many churches. Well, it is Spanish Havana. This is Assassin's Creed, the game where you stand on churches. It's uh, the game well, where you climb shit, regardless of what it is. Yeah. But it's often churches. That sure is an impressive church, though. Hey, look. Oh, there's another it's little, a little standing platform for, for some just reason. Just for you. It's just for assassins <laughs> to sit on. I mean, it's... <laughs> caca! Caca! <laughs> it's a... Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the perks of being an assassin. It's like You're all the architects are in I'm just wearing his clothes. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm destined to become an assassin. Always a conveniently placed hay bale. <laughs> yep. It's always a canal. <laughs> it's always a fjord. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a chest. So I bought the season pass, so there, there's more content for us. But some of it is... It's sort of cheesy. Hey, you bought the season pass, so have some stuff. Let's go find out what it is. Also, all the stuff like counting feathers or whatever shit there is to do in this game that's not interesting. I'm gonna do not on this recording. Yay! Yeah, I'll, I'll still I'll play a lot of the side content. Yeah, I might record it and then we can look at bits that are actually interesting, but I'm not gonna... we're not gonna watch through all of it and talk about it. It's fair. I've heard that there was a lot of, like, 
a lot of this game, a lot of the stuff that's interesting about this particular one is like just and my sugar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's where we stop the the story for today. Ah. Then I go explore the menus for a little while. He looks so upset. And my sugar. <laughs> We're going to have to find out about the sugar next time. Oh. Maybe he's going to want us to get him some sugar. I'm desperate to know about Steed's sugar. He just he wants us to give him some sugar. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> he looks like well, he could be pre-diabetic. Well, I will say <laughs> that in um, The General History of the Pirates, which is a book that was written about 1725, um, which talks about a lot of the pirates from this period, they basically say they strongly imply that Steed Bonnet ran away from home to become a pirate to escape his wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome and hilarious. Yeah. <clears throat> I was looking for interesting outfits, but they're all a they little all bit the same. They all look the same. Yeah, they're all pretty same. They're all awful samey. Mm. Yeah. Where's the outfit where you hate them? <laughs> That's the one where you have a child and wait for him to grow up, I think. Oh, Kate was the cool guy. <laughs> Connor is the dweeb. Connor, Connor was a bit flat compared to hate them. Well, this sure is a menu screen. Yeah. Well, I think that's enough for... Okay. Yeah. We don't need well, to watch me. Well, see you next time, folks. Next, next time, we eat Steed Bonnet. <gasps> that would certainly be an interesting deviation from history. <laughs>